Hey everybody, John here from JohnLumer.com and John Loomer Digital on Facebook. You know, FBX, which is Facebook retargeting, um, retargeting those who have visited your website when they visit Facebook uh, with, the, with the Facebook ad. It's really powerful stuff, so you're not, uh, you, you have more options beyond just targeting your fans, non-fans with specific interests, people on your email list. Now you can target those who have actually visited your website. Well, a little known feature within FBX is the ability to target people who have opened an email from you. And this is specific to Perfect Audience. It may be in other tools as well, but uh, I recommend you use Perfect Audience. There's an affiliate link in the description um, or the blog post, depending on where you're looking. So make sure you check it out. You can get $70 worth of free FBX to get started. Okay, so we're in Perfect Audience here. Now, let me explain a little bit more about this email targeting. So it's a little bit different from custom audiences. If you're familiar with custom audiences, you can upload your email list, tell Facebook, I wanna target these people, everyone who's on your email list. Now, if you're super, if you have like a, a tool like say Infusionsoft, which, which I use, you can really segment people based on what they've clicked and all these various things, all their actions to create really good segmented lists, you can then target with custom audiences. However, it's not dynamic, you have to constantly update it. So this is kind of similar to that, however, it is much more dynamic. So it's retargeting by people who have opened an email from you. And you do that by putting a pixel from Perfect Audience within the HTML template of your emails. So it could be either one email you sent out, um, or it's gonna be in the template, so every single email you send out, it's gonna be in there, and Perfect Audience is going to cookie those people as soon as they open it. But to me, this is powerful stuff because now you're separating those people who are simply on your email list from those who have opened an email from you, which those are the people who should be much more likely to convert. In addition to that, you can even exclude people who have already converted. So you can reach those who had opened an email but who were not already uh, purchasers of whatever product it is you're trying to sell, if that's what you're trying to do. All right, so how do we do that? Uh, within Perfect Audience, go to Manage and Retargeting List. That's how I got here. Let me go ahead and click on Create New List. Very simple, name your list, uh, something very descriptive that uh, you'll remember later so you know what this is for. Duration, uh, how many days you're gonna keep a visitor in this list. Now, if this is something that's time sensitive, you might wanna put a number in here, otherwise they'll be kept indefinitely, all right? So now you'll see there are various retargeting types. We're gonna to want to do email. So click on that, click Create Retargeting List. Now once that's done, you'll be redirected to this page. you see list name, which is what we were just creating. Now, you want to get that code, click to get special email today by clicking on this email icon. Usually what happens to me is the first time I click it, it's empty. Boom, that's the case. So refresh the page. And we'll try again. And there it is. So all you're going to do is grab that tag and you're going to paste it within the HTML template of your email. Okay, so I can't tell you how that's done. It depends on what you're using. I don't know if you're using AWeber or MailChimp or Infusionsoft or something else. So this only applies to those who are opening HTML emails. Okay, so not text emails, but HTML only. All it does is, as you can kind of tell within the code, places a small one by one pixel image that they won't be able to see and uh, does some crazy magic guru stuff to uh, cookie those people who open that email. Okay, once you've let that pixel run for a few days in your emails and you've been able to build up a list of those who have opened them up and they're, being re they're ready to be targeted in ads, let's create a campaign. Now, I'm not gonna go through every step of this, but I just wanna go into how you can target the people who have opened these emails from you. So you're gonna click on launch new email campaign. You're either gonna wanna do newsfeed retargeting or Facebook retargeting in the case of Facebook ads. So we're gonna do newsfeed retargeting. Again, I'm not gonna go through the process here of set up your ads. We're just gonna talk about targeting. So there, what we're gonna do is we're gonna target people who are on that list that we just talked about uh, within list name uh, who opened an email, okay? And if you want to exclude those who have already purchased the product you're trying to sell, go ahead and click exclude here for that product. Um, you can also, if I were you, go back further than 30 days 
I'm gonna go 30 months. Uh, just to make sure you exclude everybody um, who's previously previously purchased purchased it, because chances are you don't want to target those same people. Okay, that's it. For more on this and to get that affiliate link so that you can get 78 hours of free FBX ads from Perfect Audience, make sure you check out that link in the description. Also, check out my blog post tutorial that covers all this in detail as well. For more, go to johnloomer.com and like my page on Facebook at John Loomer Digital. Thanks.